The person who trusts God has a lot to be happy about, even if things are not going well. Jesus says it this way in John 16, verse 33. These things I have spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace. In the world ye shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. Though tribulations, afflictions, trouble, and persecution may arise, he says you should be of good cheer. Cheer means a positive mood, happiness, and a joyful spirit. And that's what God seeks to put on your faces. Further, if you place your trust in God, our verse says that you will not need to be ashamed. That is, God will reward your trust by helping you, and as a result, remove whatever shame you felt about the situation. This does not mean that believers in God never have any reason to be ashamed. Again, the Psalms themselves prove that point. But it does mean that God will help when needed, and thereby remove the shame on your face. It means that those who trust in God will overcome their shame. There is nothing wrong with your face that cannot be corrected by more trust in God. May you know through this that God is not finished with you. God doesn't play games with your life. God is responsible for your destiny. He is the maintainer of your lot. When you think it's over, it's not over. God will revive your spirit. God will revive your life. God will revive your marriage, your finances, your family, and your career. Don't give up. Continue to trust Him, and soon He will put a smile on your face again. Be strong and of a good courage. Fear not nor be afraid of them. For the Lord thy God, he it is that doth go with thee. He will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. Deuteronomy 31 verse 6 Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob are the three patriarchs of the church. They are the founding fathers of Christianity, and their stories are indicative of what will happen to a child of God. Notice that they all went through a phase in their life where it seemed that it was too late. But ultimately, it was not. This is a clear message from God that must not be missed. It will never be too late for His child. God will put a smile on your face again. It'll never be too late for you. Trust God and believe that no matter your situation, He will show up for you with a miracle. He is the God that changeth not. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. If He has made you smile before, He will put a smile on your face again. So trust Him. Avoid the influence of your sights and facts. The believer makes advancement or progress by faith, and not by his or her sensory receptors or perceptions. The just shall live by faith. Have you lost the laughter in your life? Sometimes we do, but that's not good. Proverbs 17 verse 22 tells us that a merry heart does us good like a medicine. And as we look into the Word of God today, we see that God wants to put a smile on your face. Though some bad days will come to us, our Heavenly Father surely wants the best for us. He even wants to put a smile on your face again. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to give you hope and a future. God had put together a plan for the children of Israel, and God has a plan for your life too. He's got a plan for today. He wishes above all things that you prosper and be in good health. That's the plan of God for you, always. He gave us His Son, and He said, How shall we not with the Son freely given us all things that we need? Trust in God and His purposes for you. He will put a smile on your face again. The devil might try to make everything look bad for you, but better days are ahead. Always put to memory the plan God has for you. The plan of God for you are littered around the scriptures. He'll put a smile on your face. 
Don't forget that Abraham struggled to get a child. Joseph was sold by his brothers. And Jesus went through pain and agony, but they all didn't give up. They waited on the Lord and he answered them. He made them smile again. He will surely make you smile again. What is the situation? What does it look like now? Do you feel like giving up? Are you tired of waiting on God? I'd like to ask you some other questions now, like what is the capacity you have? What can you believe? Because your belief will always determine your experiences. Whether you would have a blossom full life is tied to what you believe. God will put a smile on your face again. He's done it before and he will do it again. The Bible says that there are no ifs among believers. Anything is possible. You will smile again. Just look unto God who is the author of our faith and he will definitely, surely put a beautiful smile on your face again. Sometimes betrayal is a blessing. When a person close to you violates your trust, it calls everything into question and provides no way to answer. Betrayal is mostly caused by jealousy and selfishness. Betrayal by a loved one can destroy your self-esteem, your ability to trust other people, and your readiness to allow yourself to commit to any close personal relationship. A betrayal leads to disappointment, but one's best success comes after their greatest disappointment, because the disappointment will expose them to their mistakes, which they need to correct to be successful. Therefore, disappointment is God's way of telling you things will be better. After being betrayed, it may appear you're fine, but you carry deep sorrow in your heart for a long time. Some betrayals may be intentional, while some may be accidental consequences of emotional or spiritual brokenness. The more you trust someone, the greater your risk to be betrayed because betrayal is a violation of trust. The signs of betrayal are gossip, rejection, lie, criticism, and broken promises. 